Hello, welcome back to another scripting video. Um, today, actually let me start um, with what we did last time. Last time we talked about the uh, the workspace and uh, the, ex the explorer pane and the properties pane and how to use the command line and we using the command line we removed the player's head or the character's head I should say and today we're going to use the command line a little bit more so in the future um, we'll be getting to more actual scripting in the future but for now uh, there are some things that you can do with command line that I did not explain previously there are actually a lot of things you can do uh, with the command line but there's some simple things is what I mean which I want to talk about uh, so let's go ahead and press F6 and that will bring us to play solo and we are here <clears throat> alright so what we're gonna do is remember let's look in the workspace and then find the player here we are and uh, okay so what we're going to do uh, we're just gonna have a little bit of fun here we're going to uh, make the head invisible uh, or we can also play around with other body parts in the character so let's start with just going game workspace if you don't know what I'm doing here remember to watch my previous episode um, dot layer one dot head and what we're going to do we're going to make the head invisible instead of just removing it we're just gonna make it invisible so if we scroll down here actually it's at the top never mind uh, in the properties window you'll see the character has a transparency property if we change that in here like to one so okay actually before I do that let me explain there are some values or properties that uh, they have a range between 0 and 1 and you use decimal places to change them so uh, the transparency when it's 0 the the head is or the part is completely solid you can see it just fine and if transparency is set to 1 then it will be completely invisible so anything in between that it will be slightly transparent so if we change the head to 0 0.5 as you can see, it kind of is a little bit ghostly. You can see through it. And so that's something you should know just in case you didn't, um, in case you haven't used that already. And so we're going to change the transparency with the command line instead of the properties window. When you're building, you normally don't want to use a command line for doing this. So I'm just doing this for, I'm using this example for teaching purposes and so what we do is we go ahead so nor remember we use the um, the dots so like game dot workspace uh, another word for it is period um, the period mark and so we go game dot workspace dot player one dot head dot so we we use another dot and we we name the transparency or we name the property that we want to change and we're just going to go transparency and then we're just going to go equals because uh, equals you know makes sense right so we're setting the transparency equal to uh, let's set it to one and make it completely invisible now as you can see the head is invisible and um, you can still see the face and uh, let me explain that so I think if we uh, if we open up the head so you have this little arrow next to the head you'll find the face decal and you can also change the transparency of this so um, that's that and uh, so if we like set the face transparency to 0 0.5 as you can see the face has changed a little bit as well and so let's do that let's go um, let's get rid of all this so since the decal is um, in case you don't know this I should explain a decal is you know used for putting pictures on blocks the head remember is it's just a regular block and um, if you put a decal inside a block then it will make a picture <clears throat> and so yeah now let's change that transparency of the decal let's set it back to one since we made it a little bit invisible let's set it back so game.workspace.player1.head 
and then notice that the name of this is face with a lowercase f dot face dot transparency equals zero because remember zero is completely solid and as you can see over here in the properties window it changed it to zero instead of zero point five okay but what if what if the what if a name has a space uh, if it, if if something has a space such as the left leg um, there's something you have to do because uh, you can't you cannot do this like let's try and make the leg uh, a little bit transparent so let's go game dot workspace dot player one dot left leg dot transparency equals one doesn't work and that is because uh, it has a space in there and that causes a problem this is normally why you kind of want to uh, avoid using spaces in your object names when you name objects which you want to use for um, in involving scripting and uh, we can't just get rid of this space that doesn't work either and so this is how we do it let's just uh, get rid of this uh, we use square brackets and the square brackets are right above your enter key on your keyboard um, and let's put those in and inside that we need to use quotation marks it might be a little hard to see because of the quality of this video but uh, so uh, remember you use oh and also be sure to remove the dot so you you say player one no sorry you say game dot workspace dot player one and then you use square brackets with the name of the object you want to index within quotations and the name of that object that we want to get is left leg uh, with the space and then we can use a dot after that transparency equals one and as you can see it uh, the, our ooh. leg is ooh dang it <laughs> Um, okay, so we were just killed by this little lava brick I put here. Um, I was a little bit unprofessional, I'm sorry. But, um, so yeah, let's enter this command again. And the left leg is invisible. And then let's set it back to zero so we can see the leg, and voila, it is right here. Um, so that is how you, you get an object if it has a space in the name. So you can also get all the other parts. You can get the left arm, uh, the right arm, you can get the torso, and the other leg. So that is pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. You can also change the reflectance, as you can see. In the uh, properties window, it has the reflectance property. And that works the same way as transparency. It uses a number between 0 and 1. And just for fun, let's go ahead and do that. Reflectance equals zero. Oops, I set it to zero. Let's set it to one. Now it's really shiny. And so, yeah, there are some other properties. Uh, you can set it to anchored, and then you won't be able to make your character walk around. Um, so, those are some simple properties that you can change. If you want to change the brick color, this is a little bit more complicated, so I'm going to change. I'm going to explain how to change the brick color of of a of a part in an, in a later episode, and that is because it's you know uh, it is a little bit more complicated than uh, you might think, and I don't want to get into too too much complicated stuff in this video. I want to kind of ease up into the more complicated things. So now um, that has been episode two in. Uh, scripting in Roblox uh, or Roblox scripting tutorials I can't remember what I named this series but um, be sure to leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching